Welcome to Mountain Talk, where we talk about the mountain and life on it. Aaron Casey hanging out with Charlotte Scalzen from the Pine Top Lakeside Library. Hello again. Hello. Hello. So happy to have you back. I love coming here. It's really fun. I was scared the first time, but it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Well, the first time you had a heck of a visit. <laughs> See, yeah, that was crazy. messed up your leg Injured coming to the, in the parking lot before coming in. Yeah, yeah that well, was special. Something well, I'll never forget. You're a little accident prone. Though. I am very accident prone. <laughs> yes, I am. All right. Well, we're talking about you guys have a bunch of different things coming up. Yes, especially on Friday. We have our um, Teen Read Week. This is Nash- Teen Read Week for the whole nation. Okay. And we're having our celebration on Friday at one o'clock. And it's for ages 12 to 18. And we're having pizza, popcorn, and we're showing a movie, which I can't say on the radio because right. of our licensing issues. Right. But it's going to be really fun. And but if you told me go. and I said something, would you still get in trouble? I would get in trouble. Oh, yes. But I can say it's a sequel to a movie about college acapella groups. There we go. That works well. I like the way that you put that. Yes. So that we'll, we'll be showing that at one. And then we're also having our Scrabble Club normally, like we do every second and fourth Friday at one o'clock. So, but there won't be any conflict. So people shouldn't worry about that. And then we have our pumpkin painting contest at four o'clock. So you bring your own pumpkin and we have the paint brushes and the paint. What's the uh, contest? What do you win? You win a movie gift card. Okay. If you're chosen, yes. Just for one person or for We're going to have four different categories. Funniest, okay. nicest, um, scariest, and I can't remember my fourth wow, one. Oh, you're on top of it. <laughs> oh, my kids one. We have a kids one. Okay. So, yes. <laughs> so, little princess one or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, that'll be fun. And we have two judges coming from the um, Arts Alliance of the White Mountains. Very cool. They're going to be our judges. All right. So, all the different paints. You paint it up however you want. How long do you get? You get an hour. So one hour time limit. Yes. Then I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't draw a straight line in an hour. <laughs> I did it. I actually painted two sides of my pumpkin in one hour. Really? When I tried it out to make sure that we could do it in an hour. So I did a face on one side and I did a little pumpkin patch on the other side. Very cool. Yeah. So, and this is all happening on Friday? On Friday. This Friday, the 23rd. What times are each? The Our teen read celebration is at one o'clock our scrabble club is at one o'clock and our pumpkin painting contest is at four o'clock and that's all you have going on for this month oh and the movie and the movie and that's on friday as well yes what time is that also we have our um the movie starts at one but we're also doing the our friends of the library on the 31st is doing a book sale and a bake sale so it should be pretty awesome i know you're not allowed to say it <laughs> But something like this, right? I got my ticket for yes, something oh, okay. like that. All right. I just yes. figured I'd throw that in there. Seems you can't advertise it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that will be the movie on Friday. <laughs> the, the sequel yes. to that one. And then on the 31st, our Friends of Library is doing a book and bake sale. And it starts at 10 o'clock in the morning. And they're going to have a little fall photo booth with a little background that you can come get a free photo. Okay. And we're also going to be showing a movie starting at 1 o'clock then. For any kids, it's going to be a Halloween movie. It's a Disney movie with three witches that come back from the dead. Wow. I, I don't know that one. We'll have to talk about that off air, I'm pretty yeah. sure. <laughs> All right. <laughs> is it an older movie? It is. It's from the 90s. Okay. I think I know which one that is then. Yeah. All right. All right. And then in November, you guys really get kicked off with some more stuff. When do you guys not? Do you guys have any dead months where you're not doing much? No, not really. Now, if somebody really wants to get involved at the library, because I know you have your ebooks that you can uh, you can check out, so to speak, as well. Mm-hmm. You've got the free Wi Fi. You got computers there. You're you've got stuff going on like crazy. Uh, somebody wants to get involved. What's the best way for them to to get involved with the library? We have a great volunteer program. You come in and you fill out an application. You tell us what you're interested in helping us with, or you can join our friends of the library group and. You can help with the fundraising that they do. They also run our bookstore that we have in the library right now. And you can get involved that way. You just fill out a little paperwork. And then with our volunteers, Maisie, our technical assistant, will is our coordinator, our volunteer coordinator. And she'll coordinate what days you can come in and help us out. And with our friends of the library, Sue is our president. 
and we they meet once a month on the first Wednesday of the month at one o'clock. And the funds that are they're raising at this book and bake sale, where do those go? They go directly to the library. That help fund. They fund our programs. Um, they fund equipment. They fund furniture. Pretty much all of our furniture came from our friends of the library. Really? And yeah, I think a grant okay. from a few years back. Okay. So yeah, we're working on. We got a few things in the fire that we're working on, which I don't want to talk about because I don't want to get people excited until it actually comes to fruition. Tease, has has something tease. to do with three and a D. And a printer. <laughs> and a printer, yes. Hopefully. Yes, we're we're trying to finagle some funds. My boss has been doing some research, and we're trying to find something that's but affordable, but also works. Right. Is the, yeah, it's tough. She's been doing some good research, though. So. And there would have to be some sort of a cost involved with yes. that when you came out and used it. Yes, hopefully not too much. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. All right. Now, if somebody wants to check out ebooks, anything like that, I'm going to jump into that just for a little bit because I know I've had several guests on the show that they spend a lot of time driving mm -hmm. and they, you know, they listen to the radio, my show, they listen to our station a little bit, but a lot of times it's ebooks. Yes. You can check out audiobooks and you can check out ebooks. You can check out ebooks for your readers. Like your Kindle Fire, your iPad, right. stuff like that. And then your audiobooks, which you can also download to like your MP3 player and play it in your car while you're driving. And it's called, I think they're just called e -audio, auto audiobooks on our website. But you can go to our website and we have some links to download the software onto your computer to get it to work. And you have to have a library card. Yes. You have to have your library card number and on your card. That is super hard to get. It's super hard. You have to bring in your ID and a piece of mail from your where you get mail. Okay. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. Wow. And fill out a little bit of paperwork. Okay. Well, we'll be back. We're going to talk more about some of your upcoming events in November. All right. And get a little bit excited about those right now, though. What was your next song selection? Even though I know these weren't your song selections, <laughs> you kind of you kind of punked out on this. Well, you didn't. <laughs> You just got a lot of requests from the people you work with. Yes. All right. Second one is Pat Benatar. Hit me with your best shot. And who requested this one? This one is actually mine. Oh, okay. So this was yours. <laughs> Never mind then. KVSL. <laughs> Charlotte Skousen, Pine Top Lakeside Library. Talking about all the events that you guys have coming up. Just a quick uh, hit one more time on this Friday. Three different events happening at almost the same time. Yes. We have our... Teen Read Week celebration at 1 o'clock, showing a movie with with popcorn and pizza, sponsored by r, r Pizza. They're being awesome about that. Thank you so much. We love our sponsors. If you're interested in sponsoring, give me a call. And that phone number is? 368-6688, extension 2. 368-6688, extension 2. That's right. And then also at 1 o'clock, we have Scrabble Club. And they're meeting. They meet on the 1st and... I'm sorry, the second and fourth Fridays of the month. And then we also have our pumpkin painting contest at four o'clock. One hour to paint. Bring yeah. your own pumpkin. Bring your own pumpkin. Any, well, you have an hour, so probably smaller the better. Probably the smaller the better. But if you want to paint a big one, we're all right with that. Okay. Ambition's good sometimes. Yeah. If you're good like that, go for it. That's right. All right. Now, the Scrabble Club, they just sit around and play Scrabble? Yeah. They have a really good time. Really? How many people will show up about? Well, I, we had a solid four. We were getting a little few people, but now that the snowbirds are leaving, we have two people, and they've been going out and advertising, trying to get more members. So well, it'll be interesting to see how many show up on Friday. So if you're looking to make some friends and you want to play some Scrabble, second and... Fourth Fridays, uh, 1 o'clock. All right, 1 o'clock at the Pine Top Lakeside Library, which is located... 1595 Johnson Drive, Lakeside. Which is... Right there across from the movie, the movie theater theaters. Yep. and the high school. Right. Instead of turning school. right onto Woodland, make a left onto Johnson. There you go. And we're right there. Perfect. All right. November. 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 Big no shave November. <laughs> Are I'm, you going to do that? I might as well. I'm tired of shaving. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good excuse. I had some, I had a friend who did the no shave November. Uh huh. And now he's got a really huge beard because he decided, eh, we'll just keep it. There you go. <laughs> uh, we'll get it more into that because I know that there's a reason that they do that, but I can't remember what yeah, it is. Yeah, it's like uh, cancer awareness, I think. Right. Something. We'll look it up. Yeah, we'll look it up. All right. 
Okay, so we have our movie of the month on the 14th, which is the new dinosaur movie, which oh, was a big hit. The the is it now your your screen, your projector. Mm-hmm. Is it a uh it's, HD projector? Yes, it's an HD projector on a 152-inch movie screen. Surround sound? Not surround sound. But a nice stereo? Yeah, our stereo it will grow up to be a surround sound system someday. After you get that <laughs> other thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's on the list. <laughs> I have that list at home. Yeah, right. <laughs> but that starts at 3 o'clock, okay. movie of the month, and we have free popcorn, and Maisie's going to be making a dinosaur cake. Cool. Now, if you show up, do you have to bring a chair or what do you got to do? No, we set up our chairs. We also have um, a beanbag chair. If you get there early enough, you can claim that. All right. And we do free popcorn, which is um, our friends at the library brought us a popcorn machine when we first started doing movie of the month. Well, wow. It's almost been three years. Right. Yeah. So we've been doing it for quite a while. And good turnout. Yeah. Pretty good turnout. We get between 10, 20. Too packed? Is it like barely no, room or lots of room? There's usually a good amount of room. Okay. Anybody so. that's like the uh, beanbag Nazi? <laughs> the- Not so far. Okay. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> that's mine. Yeah. And then on the 21st is International Games Day. And it's an international thing. We're going to be setting up board games in the library. You can come in, play a board game, have some play chess, checkers. And then we'll probably do a PlayStation tournament of some kind. Really? Yes. Like Lego Heroes or something? Yeah, something like that. We also have a football game. Basically, whatever. We'll, we'll just offer whatever games and whoever comes and decide, they'll get to decide what they want to play. PS3, PS4? PS4. Okay. It'll be on the projector. 152-inch screen HD. Wow. Cool. Yeah. 152 in- Okay. That'll be fun. All right. So that's the that's coming up in November. Yes. All right. Anything else? We're going to be starting a Lego club as soon as we get those Legos. We've got budget set aside for it. So we're going to buy a bunch of Legos and we're going to start an after school Lego club at 3.30s on the first and third Mondays of the month. Okay. And what do you do? What's, what's the Lego club? Just look at them. You're not allowed to touch. Step on them and cry. <laughs> Nope, we'll set them up. Uh, we'll have a bunch of tables, or they can work on the floor, whatever floats their boat. And but they'll be, we're getting. It's going to be over two thousand Legos that we're purchasing, and we're going to purchase the bases, so each person that comes can have their own base to work with. So it should be pretty cool. I'm excited to see the creativity of the kids. Right, be cool if you guys got together some giant project to gi- build a giant Millennium Falcon. Yes, depending on how many we have come. Right. That's one of my plans, is after we get it really nicely established, then we'll ask the kids, we'll give them some choices on a kit that they would like to put together, together. <laughs> now, do you take Legos as some sort of a donation? We would love any Legos as a donation. If you have Legos, bring them on over to the library, and we'll even give you a receipt for your taxes. There you go. Cool. So if you got some extra Legos lying around that you don't play with anymore. That you're tired of stepping on. Yeah. Then take them to the library. That's it doesn't right. matter. You guys will sort them all. Oh, yeah. By sorting, I mean dump them into a giant bin. <laughs> Probably disinfect them. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> all right. And uh, Lego Club, hopefully starting November. Hopefully starting November. If not the first Monday, hopefully that third Monday. Okay. Fundraisers. How many times do you guys do fundraisers? How often? It depends on our friends of the library and the time that they have, but they've been trying to do one at least once a month the last few months. And donations and sponsors are always available, always welcome. Yes. And again, that phone number is 368-6688, extension 2. Right. And ask for Charlotte. I'll put that up on our Facebook, facebook.com slash KVSL radio. You can also search for the uh, Pine Top Lakeside Library's Facebook as well. Yep. Where you'll be able to check out all sorts of different things. Right. Facebook.com slash Pine Top Lakeside Library. There we go. All right. <laughs> we'll be back. Talk a little bit more in just a little bit right now. Your next song selection and who's it for? This one's mine too. Oh. Journey, Separate Ways. KV- My last one's for Maisie. <laughs> oh, the last one's for, okay. KVSL. <laughs> the center is 50 degrees. And a beautiful 50 degrees outside, isn't it? Oh, yeah, nice and crisp. Yeah, very brisk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
perfect. Break out your sweaters, people. Oh, yeah, and jackets. It's a perfect time to be in the library to get out of the cold. Right. Yeah, I I, I like when you got something <laughs> going on. You're like, oh, you know what? Need some time to warm up? I'll go in the library. Yeah, and if you're cold, you could buy a coffee or a hot tea, or we also have hot chocolate. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. So Charlotte Scow's been hanging out with me here on Mountain Talk. What is your role at the library? I am the program's librarian. I'm in charge of doing story times, um, any activity that's going on in the library. I'm the one in charge of it. Okay. Story times. What is that? Like people coming in and you just read to them? Yep. So I come in, you'll read to me? <laughs> well, hopefully you bring a child with you. <laughs> it's for children. We do... Um, our toddler time is um, Tiny Tot Story Time, Tuesdays at 10. Okay. And I'll read one story. We you, we do a lot of activities during that time because toddlers have a, the attention span of a fly. So, what were we talking about? <laughs> so we do a lot of activities and songs. And then we read a book and we usually let them scribble on a coloring page afterwards. And the parents can come and have some adult time while the kids do their thing. Right. They yeah. Can- Go online, check their emails, get all the little work details done that they right, need to get Right, from their done. phone while their kids are listening right. to stories. Or and on the library computer. Well, we we prefer them to stay in with their kid. Oh, <laughs> fine. It's not a babysitting hour then. No, no no babysitting. Okay. And then Wednesdays is family fun, and it's for like three to five-year-olds, more like preschool age. We read at least three books, and we usually do a flannel board story. Flan- flannel board story. Yes, that's where you cut out little characters from flannel, or you can do paper and then laminate it and do a magnetized story. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like picture books. Kind of, and there. The sometimes you do finger plays. Like I have a Five Little Pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one says, "Oh my, it's getting late." Yeah. Now that, that'll be in everybody's head. You just gotta go now. <laughs> no, <I'm> just <laughs> but we do stuff like that. And it's great fun. We usually do the parachute. We bring out the parachute. Everybody grabs on and we make Pete the Cat float in the air, try to hit the ceiling. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> now, Pete the Cat, for everybody listening, is not a real cat. <laughs> He's not a real cat. That's right. right. He's a stuffed cat book character. Why don't you throw the unicorn in there? Well, he's too hard. Okay. We try to do soft things in the parachute. We don't want anybody's eyes to get hurt right unicorn flying through the air yeah not so good that spells trouble <laughs> it does. That spell trouble. <laughs> how how busy do you guys get through these uh, story times um tuesdays right now is my my busiest one we've got a lot of little kids in the community right now right i usually have between 20 and 30 wow and then wednesdays is um it's a little less sometimes i have less than 10 and not more than 15 a lot of Wednesdays okay. right now because the kids that are older all went to school. So Right. <laughs> so it changes a lot. But next Wednesday for story time is our Halloween one. So if you, you're you looking for a little costume party with your kid that's pretty low key, bring them to the library. There you go. To our spooky story time. Spooky story time. Ooh, and you do all the story <laughs> reading Yep. And you get some tongue twisters every now yes, and then. Yes, I do. I mess up sometimes. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. That's all right. And you make fun of yourself, though. That's Yes. I love story time. I think it's my probably my favorite part of my job is story time and interacting with the kids. Favorite, giving them a love of stories and learning. Favorite book to read? Pete the Cat, I Love My White Shoes. Really? Yes. By James Dean. Uh, Eric Litwin and James Dean is the... Uh, illustrator okay yes that one's really fun we have a lot of fun with that and i'm sure you have the finger puppets the storyboard everything already i've got it memorized (laughs) the whole book yes (laughs) Uh, how many pages is it um probably about 15 oh okay so it's a quick and a a lot of repeats with just a few word changes right yeah okay all right so we're talking real quick just some reminders about some things coming up that's coming up on friday that's a big one. So if you're looking for something free, fun, and fabulous, and fabulous <laughs> to do on Friday, wow, we got a lot of Fs there. Uh, <laughs> then what is, tell us about them one more time. We've got our Scrabble Club at one o'clock, and then we have our Teen Read Week celebration with pizza, popcorn, and a movie. <laughs> right. 
at one o'clock as well. The, I won't it's, say what it is. Right. And that's sponsored by R and R Pizza. We're grateful for their sponsorship. But the movie might have something to do with this. Yes, the movie might have something to do with that. Yes. All right, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> and then <laughs> we have our pumpkin painting contest, our first annual pumpkin painting contest at four o'clock. And that you get one hour to paint, bring your own pumpkin. We provide the paint and the paint brushes. Now, with movies like the one that you have coming up, that's not exactly a. Uh, what rated is that movie? That one's rated PG 13. Okay, so it's a little bit for the older, for the teenagers. Yes, it's for the teenagers. Okay, just to remind everybody so they don't show up with little kids and then get right. upset. Right, 12 to 18 is our limit. We're trying to limit that one to teenagers only. All since right. it's Teen Read Week. Right. And you don't want to make any parents upset with any right. language that might happen. <laughs> right, because there's language. <laughs> right. Yes. All right, perfect. And uh, Scrabble Club, Teen Read Week. November uh, and the pumpkin painting contest, one right. hour prizes. What are some of the prizes? The prizes are? The prizes are a $10 gift card to the WME Theaters. Perfect. Anything else you want to wrap up with? Nope. Just come to the library. We've got great stuff. Pine Top Lakeside Public Library. We're all, we've always got stuff going on. So just stop in or call or look at our street sign. Once you get, And I'll remind everybody, once you get your library card, you can go online and get all your ebooks, your MP3 books, whatever it is. How long do they stay in your system before they expire? With the ebooks, you get them for two weeks. With the audiobooks, I believe it's three weeks. Okay. So ebooks you can read, the audiobooks you listen to, three weeks for those, two weeks for the reading. Yep. And you can get those all online without having to even go to the library. Right. And as always, you could come check out any of our books graphic novels, fiction, nonfiction biographies we got it all now you're a nerd yes i am <laughs> yep i am i am as well we talked a little bit before the show star wars oh yeah december 18th are you excited yes very december can't get her fast enough yeah right so all i want for christmas is my own droid <laughs> <laughs> and a star wars ticket to yes the movie. yes all right we're gonna go ahead and get out of here Scar- uh, charlotte thank you so much for taking thank the you time again for the having show. me on yeah anytime all right now the last song last three songs well this one's for Maisie. okay it's bon jovi living on a prayer Ooh, good thing i asked because i had the wrong one in. oh i had heart what about love oh whoops and then in Queen, another one bites the dust. Yep. All right, you got okay. the uh, the whole hour set up. All right, thank you guys for tuning in. Stick around. John Tesh coming up with some intelligence for your life that you can get at the library as well. And, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll go ahead and get out of here. Thank you for listening to Mountain.